Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my social brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing today in a galaxy far, far, far? Oh, I love it when people bring bullet points away. This is your first time on the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your social fun news and sometimes guides and updates right here, right now. My friends! Yes, this, is, this, this might be a spicy video. It might not be a spicy video. Who knows where my mind is going to take us. I have some notes, and the rest is just fluff. But I swear, I'm sober. So, <laughs> this should be an interesting video. Because I want to get your guys' take on this video. and Well, not just this video, but I want your guys' take on what I'm about to present to you. And maybe, a, not necessarily a call for action but a way to save this great game. So let's get into it. Let's look at over what Sentinel Master WW posted there on the forums to which I saw over there on the social medias. And I looked at what he had to say to bullet points from the quarterly uh, thing that Keith gave us. And he kind of broke down everything that uh, we have gotten the last quarter. One could argue the last three years. And uh, it really paints a stark picture. And well, we need to talk about it. We're going to get into it. Let's do it. So as you'll see right here, what Sentinel Master did is he pretty much broke down everything that Keith said in the last quarterly letter, which we've talked about here before. You just have to go back to that video, which you should, and you should share the crap out of it. And also, guys, one thing we can do to also help get our message out there is share the poop out of this. Now, there are a lot of people that watch these videos, and they don't sub. That happens everywhere. But I am asking you, my friends, to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and share these videos. Because, yes, we can be here and complain and give criticism constructive criticism all day long but unless the reach is massive it's not going to get anywhere fast so just go ahead and do that i promise you you would love it if you did because beards so what <laughs> that little master had to say is as you'll see right here is he he here is basically a bullet point list of what the devs said they did this quarter for star wars the old republic uh, we have date night, we got cartel market, we got a Twitch drop cartel market again, and a $100 bundle. Here is what they announced for 7.6 that we know for sure. Art modernization, story, I will add that as well. They did say there's going to be continuation with story, so we're going to give them a little uh, breath there. Uh, and possibly the Mac port. Here's a list of almost everything that is an issue or could be fixed by this current dev team. Class pruning, ability tree is terrible and offers no meaningful choices, poor class balancing, leveling is atrocious, and then there's too many dead zones where you get jack squat. Removal of ranked PvP, PvP seasons is literally a part participation mode, PvP's 8-man pre-mades, no new operations since the launch of 7.0, two years basically. No NIM, R4, or adding NIM to older raids. GSF is basically dead, which is sad because I really liked GSF. I had tons of fun in that. I thought that was one of the best features uh, the Star Wars The Old Republic had outside of telling great story. Just saying. Gearing is terrible. Implants and tacticals are either underperforming, average, or broken. OP. In regards to the cartel market, everything is a carbon copy paste of stuff from the TV shows. Dragged out storyline since 2019. He continues, but hey, these issues are not important if we can get Mac players to join, even though if you Google it, Macs are terrible for gaming both hardware and software wise. It's not like these issues I listed could have been addressed, right? Don't fret though, my fellow players, another $100 bundle will surely get us back on track to fixing the game. Listen, I think I think uh, Sentinel brought up a lot of great points here, especially with the dragged out storyline since 2019. Friends, we're coming up on what, four years on that? No, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, five years in this storyline we've been dragged through. I was there when they announced Onslaught at the cantina i did a live stream of it and then i got excited for it and then that's when we kind of saw the downward spiral of the game personally yeah that that's pretty much what happened so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what things would you add to this what would you remove from this do you think sentinels being fair what do you think are you what are your main takeaways from this bullet point list and it does kind of show that what we're seeing here especially these days in Star Wars The Old Republic is we're getting 90% cartel market and fluff and 10% actual content for us to enjoy and play. 
And that's a big problem. That's a dangerous sign of a dying game when they're putting more effort into bringing in the money than they are of actually retaining its current player base with a dwindling player base even though they'll try to get money in here and there eventually that money is going to run out this type of business model it it's horrible yes there are still people who play rift i get that and there's still play, people that play older games that have been left on the shelf at the same time though this game still has a bit of a heartbeat left to it and it has so much freaking potential that scene it being wasted away like this on cartel market stuff and just fluff uh, content pieces here and there and very little content of meaningful content is bad. That is bad for this game. And it's kind of like a slap in the face really to all of us in the community for all the hours we put in, for all the money we have spent with our subscriptions and our on cartel coins. It, it truly is kind of like they don't care. And I'm not here to poop on the devs, that is not my intention, but I think what we need to have is a very serious conversation about the devs and the current leadership over there at Broadsword slash Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, I have met a lot of the devs, and a lot of them are really nice people. I have, I have not met one that I didn't like. Now, I know a few have blocked me on Twix, and I just think that's hilarious since I've never, ever interacted with them whatsoever, and I've never said a bad thing about them. But, you know, other people, different opinions hurt people, I guess. So let them live in their own little bubble of a world that is what it is. However, speaking of leadership, if this is where this game is headed, and if we're going to continue on this path to where we get 90% fluff and 10% content, I'm sorry, but I think it's time for new leadership. It's time for some fresh ideas, fresh faces, people with a passion for Star Wars, people with a passion for the Old Republic, who, who like Charles, could, could see uh, the, the future and possibilities of the story where it is. People that have an excitement like Chris Metzen over there at Blizzard, to the moment he walks on stage, the whole stadium roars. And I even almost started crying because I missed the guy. And because he came back, things got rearranged. The War Within is probably one of the best stories I have ever delved into since Wrath of the Lich King. It, it really honestly is. I've got Lore Master and all that jazz because I needed to know where all this is going. And this is just part one in a three expansion saga. Holy crap. And they're continuing planning for 17.8. Oh, it's crazy. But that's the type of passion and excitement we're not seeing over there at Broadsword. Yeah, we're seeing some type of excitement, but it's more of a we're stuck in our bubble in our own echo chamber type of excitement, right? It's not a there there isn't an excitement for the future. It's an excitement for here's our fluff pieces, here's our brand new reskin something or here's here's some inspired stuff from a failed canceled TV show that majority of people did not ask for and did not like. But yet, is there anything from Outlaws? I haven't seen Star Wars Outlaw inspired on there. Maybe they did the, the, the creature, the cat thing. I could be wrong. Check me. If I am, I will correct myself. But that's what we need. We, we need a team with a long-lasting vision. A team that is willing to invest time and money into this game by hiring on more devs. They ha if they have a vision to make this game great again... They would go and start hiring more people. They'd bring more devs onto the team. They'd branch things out. They would also be far more transparent. And that is another key thing we need to have in the new dev team is a dev team that's going to work with this community and be more transparent with it rather than being more of a mentality of you'll love what we do. And if you don't, well, it's your fault because you don't understand our thinking which is pretty much what we got in the letters from Keith and Ashley uh, when it came to the KOTOR-style uh, cutscenes that destroyed the immersion of the main story from the last main patch. It, it really did. And Eric had to come out and try to like calm the flames, which it didn't really help either. My friends, I mean, this is something I've been thinking about for quite a while, but honestly, I mean, I don't want to see anyone fired and anything like that. I mean, I, I get the reality of the whole situation. I honestly do. 
and a company needs to make money and a profit for it to survive. I have no issues with that whatsoever. But sometimes you need a fresh face, you need fresh ideas, you need fresh leadership in there that's going to launch this game into the future and make it what it could have been and what it used to be. That's the thing. That's all I'm asking and all I'm suggesting. What do you guys think? Put your comments in the comment section below. Do you guys think we need new leadership? Do you think we need to branch things out? I ran a poll on my YouTube channel and I polled you guys and I asked, as you'll see here, do you think that SOTOR would be better with new leadership? I have yes, fresh ideas. No, keep it the same. Maybe, explain. 77% of you said yes. 6% said no, and 17% said maybe. Friends, there's there, there's a problem with this game, and there's no sugarcoating it here. And the, the, for the brand new players who come into the game, we love you. Welcome to the family. You're going to have tons of fun. We're coming from a release. Where I'm coming from is more of a veteran player who's been playing this game for years. And has seen it at its greatest and is now here seeing it at its worst that's where we are and i will always be honest with you guys and i will never bullshit any of you either i will always call spade a spade when i need to and when i have to because i want to because you guys are worth it and yeah th there would be it'd be so stupid to lie to you or to simp for someone like, hey guys there's no problem with the game the game's totally fine <laughs> no if there's a problem we need to point it out and if the dev team, at this point, too, you know, arrogant to uh, listen, then the complete downfall of this game is not our, the community's fault. It's all their fault. They are the ones who put it on this path, and they are the ones who own it. They did it, not us, the community. Just saying. Friends, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's have a conversation about this. What do you guys think? What other improvements do you think they can do? To, the, to this game, be civil about it, let's be nice about it, and at the same time, like I said earlier in the package, let's get more amplification to these videos. Let's get more subscribers here. If you're like, I don't know, I'm just watching the video, hit that sub button, baby, my beard will grant you eternal life. Just saying, it might, it might not, allegedly, it might be rumored, I guess we'll only know someday, but yeah just and hit the like button hit the share button the bell notification button and like i said become part of the family pound that subscribe button and i totally lost thought because that's not how i usually end these videos so i'm gonna do it the right way because i won't do it any other way so yes make sure you hit that subscribe button become part of the family here at Boomy nation the freak show youtube the black sheep of gaming and as always my friends and this is most important remember to be kind and it is about community and also important is to don't forget to spay and neuter your Wookiees. We'll see you later, my friends. Have a good one.